You're listening to Greater Good Radio Hawaii. Please visit us online at greatergoodradio.com. Today's guest is Jeff Arce, a partner for the McNaughton Group, a Hawaii-based diversified real estate development company. They have been responsible in bringing into Hawaii some retail locations and projects including Costco, Waikele Center, Starbucks, Jamba Juice, and many more. How long have you been with the McNaughton Group? Well, I went to go work with uh, Duncan initially when he was just investing in Blockbuster. And so what happened was uh, Duncan was evaluating to make an investment in Blockbuster in 1989. And Blockbuster had, I think, one store open at the time, and they ran out of money. So they were looking for some capital sources. And somebody suggested Duncan. And one of the things that was pretty apparent was that they needed to upgrade the financial controls that they had. And I was with an accounting firm at the time that was actually providing consulting services to Blockbuster. And um, so we... And I had just decided that I wanted to leave accounting and decide. Were you to in change. Hawaii at the time? I was. I was in Hawaii. Okay. Yeah, I was actually right down the street. I was in, on, right on Bishop Street, working for uh, Arthur Anderson at the time, mm-hmm. who is no longer with us. But um, the um, the the opportunity came that that to uh, to actually go meet Duncan and go go work at Blockbuster. So in 1989, I actually left the comforts of of, uh, of Arthur Anderson and a nice cushy job where you worked, you know, 80 hours a week. <laughs> and um, and your first priorities were the were the were the firm, and decided I wanted to make a, really more of a lifestyle decision, and that's where Blockbuster just looked like a lot of fun. All those the mission statement we talked about with the McNaughton Group, it was fun people, it was a fun industry, and hopefully we'd we'd you know be financially successful. Were you a consultant with McNaughton Group prior then, and then you kind of moved into that role? No, actually, it was somebody else. Um, there was another individual within Arthur Anderson that was actually providing accounting support kind of accounting services. He was acting as the controller for Blockbuster. And, but I had decided that I wanted to leave. And so my decision to leave actually came before Blockbuster started looking for somebody. And so uh, it was just, the, the irony of it is that I, I left and became the controller and replaced our own guy that was down there kind of keep, taking care of the books. Later on, after I went to go work more in Duncan's office as opposed to in the Blockbuster offices, we ended up hiring that guy back. So that guy is now, he, he took my place as the chief financial officer for Blockbuster, and he's now really the president who runs all of Starbucks and Jamba. So both of us came from the same location, from this, the Arthur Anderson office. Huh. So when you went to work with Duncan, did you become a partner immediately, or something came about? No, uh, one of the reasons that, that I actually went to go work for Blockbuster was that uh, Duncan and the, and the ownership at the time uh, the guys who owned it at the time uh, offered me some actual some ownership, some equity in in Blockbuster, and that that's really what kind of triggered my decision financially that it made sense. I actually took a pay cut, and but I got was back some ownership. It all? was a little scary. Hmm. It was a little scary. I went from you know one of the largest and most respected firms in the country to you know a two, a, a one or two store video chain. But then so, at that time, Duncan already had some success under his belt, right? He had already done Costco and and Y. Kelly. He did. He he worked for a number of years with Dick Gushman. Uh, and they had a great, successful partnership doing a bunch of projects. And a few years prior to my going down to, to Blockbuster, they had kind of decided to have separate offices and focus on different things. Um, he had just finished up Costco. Why Kelly actually hadn't started yet. And so when I went there, I did meet Duncan. I interviewed with Duncan and his tax advisor at the time and uh, and also spent a lot of time with the guys at Blockbuster. But I actually, I actually went... Uh, to go work full-time Blockbuster, and then it turned out within a year I was kind of in Duncan's office helping him with some of his real estate things. Then the first real estate project that I ever worked on ever was Y. Kelly, where I started running the original projections for Y. Kelly. So what were some of your thoughts when you first met Duncan? Well, if he's listening, God, this guy, handsome, good-looking guy, <laughs> you know, young, wise beyond his years, all those things. So, um, Duncan, my first thoughts of Duncan was a sensible guy, a gentleman, very, you know, nice guy, easy going. That just seemed from, from the, from the onset, a guy that would be really easy to work with and easy to be friends with. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for more on Greater Good Radio.